Last week, one of the most revolutionary dating apps for women, T, shot to the top of the App Store download charts, and then immediately imploded after one of the most embarrassing data breaches of all time. T is an app that can only be used by women to dox and gossip about men that they've gone out with on dating sites to warn other women about bad behavior before they go on a date. That means if you're one of the top 5% of desirable males who get 80% of the women on apps like Tinder, they're probably talking about you on T. Unfortunately, on July 25th, T confirmed unauthorized access to a legacy Firebase storage bucket that was left completely and egregiously insecure. Around 72,000 images were compromised, 13,000 selfies and ID photos. Then just days later, another database was hacked that allegedly contains over 1.1 million shared posts, comments, and direct messages. In today's video, we'll find out how this app was compromised and look at all the hilarious stuff developers have been building with the hacked data. It is July 30th, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. The world is changing quickly. Just days ago, age verification for adult websites went into effect in the UK, and similar laws are also now in place in a handful of US states. We live in a dystopian world where gooners now need to get permission from the government just for the privilege to goon online. Protecting kids from degenerate content is a good thing, but it's only a matter of time before one of these age verification data sets gets hacked. The T app, which requires women to verify that they're women by taking a selfie with their ID, is a perfect example. It was cooked up by Sean Cook, a male developer with over six months of coding under his belt, according to LinkedIn. But now his app is cooked after this massive data breach was dumped on 4chan, and it's kind of sad that an app meant to help women stay safe ended up harming them instead. 4chan anons played the Uno reverse card when thousands of selfies of users on the T app were dumped and subsequently spread across the internet, and people are continuing to roast these T users as we speak. The users of this app and the victims of the breach are being referred to as roasties. The vibe coders saw an opportunity to build all sorts of ridiculous apps based on this data. Like one guy used Python to do a detailed data exploration, while another used JavaScript to take the location data from the hacked images and plot it on Google Maps, while another person made a website to rank them based on their looks. After the breach went viral, the T team released a statement, which was basically a non-apology with a bunch of corporate speak that explained how a legacy data storage system was penetrated non-consensually. What's especially egregious about this breach, though, is that the data was kept in a Firebase storage bucket, completely unencrypted and unsecured, just waiting to be found by someone on the internet. And you actually have to go out of your way to screw up Firebase this bad, because you get tons of warnings when you have a bucket or database with rules set to public, along with email reminders that tell you anyone can access this data. In addition, in the UI, they tell users that they will delete your selfie after the verification process is done, but it appears that wasn't the case. They were either lying or just highly incompetent. Competent. As some have speculated that the app itself is just vibe-coded slop, but I think that's highly unlikely because not even AI would screw up Firebase this bad. But between your AI coding agent bills, your AI girlfriend bills, and your cloud hosting bills, it's never been more expensive to be a 10x developer, which is why you should check out Hostinger, the sponsor of today's video. Their virtual private servers will give you the power and flexibility to run whatever you want without locking you into someone else's platform. And for less than 10 bucks per month, you get a respectable two CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM. You can see how they have a bunch of operating systems to choose from, or you could go with a pre-installed template like this one from Coolify, which lets you easily deploy any framework like Next.js or Astro. If you want freedom from our serverless overlords and a great developer experience, check out Hostinger at the link below for an even bigger discount. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.